with the first pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select quarterback Jamarcus Russell, LSU. Just by this picture alone, you can get a hint of what we're looking at. Trey Lance never even saw the field. And I know I have friends that are Niner fans that put so much money into his cards for their personal collection. Same exact thing for Mac Jones. He did see the field, and he probably won't see it anymore. And we have guys like Justin Fields, who the jury's still out, but the shine is kind of gone. Uh, a Rolex presidential. And then Jordan Love, where the shine has kind of just returned. So let's take a look at our first player. I want to start with Justin Fields because some of the shine is gone, but it's not all the way gone. There's still a little hope for someone like Justin Fields. We can see his price last sold is selling for $36. In a PSA 10, there are 2,398, just under 2,400 copies. To me, that seems like a good value price. Not as in it's value, go get it. As in, yeah, $36 for Fields, a starting quarterback. He could play another decade. He could play another two years. You know, but $36 seems fair. It doesn't seem too high. $60, $70 for that card would seem too high. And $15 or $20 bucks seems like a good purchase. So $36 in my opinion, that sounds about right. Now, if we scroll down, I just want to focus on the football season. So the football season starts here, September, 2022, and the card is selling there. And what do we notice? Just a big dip in this Prism Justin Fields card in price during the season. It does come back up and really levels off. When until? Until exactly the start of the next season, September 23, and we see the same thing. And what has it done? It's pretty much leveled off, and I would expect it to stay leveled off. And once he's, uh, I actually like Justin Fields. I hope he performs well for the Steelers, but my guess is we're going to see this same trend come September where it takes a nice dip down and levels off. This car goes from 36 maybe to 20 and stays at 20 for the year. So this is, I wouldn't say best case scenario, but it's not worst case scenario with Justin Fields. You could have bought it a lot higher. Again, this card was selling for, let's just take a look before last season started $70. And today it's selling for half that. And if we take a look at right before the season, if you bought this card two years ago with the hype, it was selling for $155. $138. You lost $100 on this card, or I don't know, 60, 70, 80% of the value. That hurts. And it only gets worse. Justin Fields is a decent example here. So let's take a look at our next player. Is, is as bad as it can get with Trey Lance. I have a Niner, a good buddy who's a 49er fan who put a lot of money, the hype, the Niners trade up to get him. Uh, he's waiting. He looks, oh man. Then he gets hurt. And so, ooh, you know, and uh, there was so much hype around Trey Lance, Niner fans. I don't blame him for buying in. And he's never going to see a starting position. He, he might not even see the NFL. I think the Cowboys cut him. I don't know. In a PSA 10, it's currently selling for 20 bucks. If I had to say something, I'd say this is way too high. Is there hope for Trey Lance? You comment below. I don't think there is. I think this card has as going that way. Now, nice thing, there's only 1,100 of them, almost 1,200 in a PSA 10, because they're not really worth getting graded at this point. If we scroll down this chart, much of the same, looks almost exactly the same as Justin Fields, except it just kept going that way. There was no leveling off. There was no, uh, no, we're going one way and one way only, and I could assume that card, it's not, why does anyone want a Trey Lance PSA 10 card? For 20 bucks. That, that card's gonna continue to fall. I'm not gonna spend too much time on Trey Lance. Th this, this chart tells it all on this Prism card. The only good thing about this card is there's just 1,200 of them. But again, Trey Lance is gonna be forgotten. A huge bust. From the 45. Lance. Lots of time. Throwing and intercepted. And who is gonna spend $20? What? Well, I'm gonna say it's going for $6 in a PSA 9, $8, also overvalued. I mean, that's a, this isn't a dollar bin in a few years. It should be in a dollar bin now. I mean, 
Am I wrong? Am I wrong about Trey Lance? Comment below. I can't imagine he makes team. Now, Mac Jones, a little bit different of a story. He did see the field. Patriot fans after year one, including myself as a dynasty fantasy football, and I'm not a Patriot fan, but I had him in dynasty, uh, drafted late, and it looked, okay, maybe this dude, maybe this, and no, no, no. And many the 30-yard line. Jones up, hit by Granderson, intercepted on the ricochet. That's Matthew Fish. And so let's take a look at what his card prices have done. They're actually less somehow than Trey Lance at 1150 Well, there's double the pop count. Maybe that has a little bit to do with it. Eh, they both are in similar boats where they're probably not going to see a starting position again. Mac Jones will probably have a career as a backup. I could totally see that. And he seems like a serviceable second or third string quarterback. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, but $11, you'd figure the Trey Lance would be less. His chart looks exactly like Trey Lance. And here's the scary part, folks. If you buy into the hype, even at this point, we notice one thing with most of these quarterbacks. During the NFL season, their card is tanking because they're not playing or they're underperforming. And if you bought in in the beginning, you lost. You lost big. If you bought it, this is just the base prism PSA 10. If you decided in September before the season starts to spend that 150, well, it's worth $11 now. This is why it's dangerous to play the quarterback game. Pick in the 2018 NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Josh Rosen. Quarterback. The majority of the time you lose. Think about how many quarterbacks actually hit. It's exciting. Also, players like, let's see who we're looking at next. Hit the button. Come on, there we go. Desmond Ritter, perfect example. Blake Lock and one again. Just barely gets it off. Ritter chucks it. Their cards are cheaper than the bigger Trevor Lawrence of the year or whoever's that Joe Burrow of the year. When you go Desmond Ritter, De uh, what was it, Sam Howell. These guys are selling at a much smaller rate. It's still overpriced and expensive, but if they hit, first of all, people can get into it easier. People can get into the Desmond Ritter card easier than they can the Trevor Lawrence of that year or the Ju Joe, <laughs> Joe Burrow or this year the Caleb Williams coming up. You can get into this easier. It's easier to go and then hope he, he ends up doing something. But this is an, a really hard task. Very... Brock Purdy, and still barely anybody was buying into Brock Purdy until he finally was a, a known commodity. But this is, wow, there's only 323 of these things graded. It is a 2022 card. He's a rookie uh, a little bit newer than the other players on this list in 2022. So I'd assume that pop count continues to grow. Is it worth what is it selling for? $12. So this pop count, it shouldn't grow much. It's still going to is the crazy part. But why? Why would you spend 17, 18, 20 bucks to get this graded? Is even in a PSA 10, it's a loss selling for $12. <laughs> Desmond Ritter, boy, oh boy. His chart's all over the place. It's less knowledge because it started in May of 2023. Here we are just a year later. And again, what do you know? I mean, and here's the start of the season here. And it just goes that way. Playing the quarterback game is extremely dangerous. The Cleveland Browns select Johnny Menzel. Let's take a look. What, what is this thing selling for just one year ago? So one year ago, you have it selling here at about $50 to $60. Even if you take this bundle here, we're talking, let's just average it at 50 bucks. Today, it's selling at $10 or $11. It's just a losing cost. Wait a couple years and buy it in a couple years. It's hard to hit. Now, I mean, if it does do this and this, people are looking, okay, okay, and they're going to get rid of it. And most people won't get rid of it then anyways. And eventually it's going to go this way. So playing the quarterback game early in a player's career, it's dangerous, man. If you go talk to me, all right? Knock it off one with that comment below i guess if you bought in a patrick mahomes early that's a big win other than that i can't think of another quarterback in this past decade where that's just a, gi a giant win our next card here we only have two more this is zach wilson at this point zach wilson's career is over on the right taking the field oh, oh dear 
This card is selling, it last sold for $4.25 on March 17th, 2024. That's three weeks ago. No one's bought this PSA 10 copy in three weeks. I don't blame them, not even at $5.00. Who wants it? And what do you know? Oh, it's the same exact looking chart. Boom. I mean, at the season, this thing's 100 or more, and it did one thing and one thing only after that season. Now, obviously, we're looking at players that didn't perform. Uh, Justin Fields performed. We looked at his card. And Mac Jones kind of performed the first year. We looked at his card. But Zach Wilson didn't perform. And you see that here we are at fi under $5. Even in August 2023, right before last season, the card was selling for 30 bucks. right before last season. In three months, right before the next season, it's going to be selling for 5 to $10. It's a huge loss. I think I have one or two more that aren't as bad to show you, like not to exaggerate the huge losses. So let's look at Jordan Love. You'd say he's the exact opposite of this. Some people might have put into Jordan Love when Aaron Rodgers was there, when it didn't look like Love would be the guy. And now all of a sudden, I took my I have Raider season tickets. I don't go to all the games. I, my brother's a Packer fan. I'm a Raider fan. I took my brother to the Packer Raider game. Raiders won, and Jordan Love looked terrible. And within a couple weeks from that game, they went on this huge run, and Jordan Love looks like the guy. So in a PSA 10, this card is currently selling for just under $100. $95 was the last sale on April 6, 2024. There are 2,750 copies in a PSA 10. I expect that to keep growing. It's a 2022 rookie card. So he's been in the league now, what, four seasons? This will be his fifth, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This will be his fifth season. Thank you, math teacher. Uh, even. Jordan Love, who's pretty much best case scenario at the moment, was coming in. This is an all-time chart. So this is from 2020 or 21, I guess. And it did nothing but go down. Now, if you bought into it here, when I guess Aaron Rodgers was still there, it does spike up. And it looks like probably during the season, it stays pretty level. He's having a bad season here. This is like when I'm going to the Raider game at the bottom, and this is the playoff run. And I don't think that blue shows very well. Not quite sure. But again, this is prior. This is during the Packers season when they're just not playing well at all. And then this is when they go on that incredible run. It's still selling at 100 when in 20, prior to 2022, you're seeing $200 prices. $300 prices, you're still chasing huge losses with someone that's coming up like Jordan Love. It's don't buy rookie quarterbacks. I mean, just don't play the game. Not for a lot of money. Don't be spending that $100, $200, $300 when it looks like that's a recipe to lose. Joe Burrow's the man. Joe Burrow is what you're hoping to hit. Problem is, between Joe Burrow and Desmond Ritter, is that Joe Burrow already has a premium and people don't want to spend the premium. They rather spend the cheaper amount on a Ritter and hope they hit. Joe Burrow in a PSA 10 is selling for $150. Now you see the difference. There's 7,000 of them. Why? Because it's worth grading it. It's worth getting a PSA 10 because you're going to make some money on it. And he's Joe Burrow. It's just a bet. He's a, he's a higher class player, but it's only on $150. We saw those other players start at $300. 400 and it's still down to 150. What has Burrow's card done? Burrow, I mean, even best case scenario, Burrow first comes in the league. This card is selling between five to seven hundred dollars. Even Burrow, who played well, I know he got injured in the beginning. It spikes up. This must maybe a playoff run. I don't know. They beat my Raiders at one point in the playoffs. The only Raider playoff game I've seen since I was a senior in high school in 2003. Unbelievable. The season comes down to this. It is car. Uh, and that's how it went. It was it was actually a decent game. Sign our car. Uh, we see this, we see this, and we see it go down. This is the best case. You're hoping to hit a Joe Burrow, and you see. I'm I me personally, I'm not. I just I am not going to buy any more rookie quarterbacks ever until it's their third or fourth or second year in the season. The only person I would have missed with was Patrick Mahomes, and you're still and, and unless you went ham on it, it's not like you are making a ton of money. If you do that strategy more often than not, you're so in the hole that Patrick, one Patrick Mahomes doesn't even out every single loss. At Joe Burrow at $600, where it's selling for $150, and this guy is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. 
He is the guy you want on your dynasty team. He is the quarterback you want to start your team with. Among some others, there's some others there, but Joe Burrow's young. This is a rookie card, what, I believe in 2020? Yeah, 2020, just like Jordan Love, his fifth season. And which guy, I know, I know where I want mine. It's, it's, it's crazy to think that the Love card's 100 and this is 150. The Love card did have way less pop count. I mean, this is a better card, obviously. I believe in Jordan. I believe in Burrow will have a 10 to 15-year career more. Jordan Love, I don't know. I hope. Good for Jordan Love. I have nothing right But this guy's like, of course, stay healthy. Uh, I think that's all we have. Do I have one more? I think I went way back. That's right. Here's Joe Namath. And I just, didn't I have Montana? I want his 1980. Wants the exact card I want. You want to go spend $400 on a new rookie quarterback? We just saw what happens, even with the best of the best. Joe Montana is behind Tom Brady, probably the best quarterback of all time. It's arguably at least in the top 10 list, if not top five. Definitely, I would say top five. PSA 9, PSA 10, this card gets really expensive. But if you have $400, dude, let's take a look at this chart because it tells a different story. If we take a look at this chart, now I don't like the all-time chart for like something like this because it goes back too far and I don't trust all this data back here. I think we really started marking card data 2019, COVID time 2020. But if we look even since then, can I click one there or is it going to do this to me? Let's see. Yep, it did that to me. If we click, let's see how sensitive it's going to be. I don't want to spend too much time. There we go. It's March 2020. That's a reasonable chart to look at. Okay, that, I, that, those are, I would trust those sales right there. So if we go from March 2020, which is an interesting time, that's when this is March 31st, 2020. We're all sitting at home watching CNN or Fox listening to them spew possibly real possibly fake not trying to get into it uh covid numbers it was an interesting time to say the least so march 31st 2020 selling for 135 bucks it spikes up comes back down let's take a look now at the two-year chart well it's done the past two years has not tanked like every quarterback we just looked at it has stayed between this 300 and 400 mark for the most part there's some outliers some higher sales, some lower sales, but for the most part, we're right in here. And he is a proven commodity where this card shouldn't lose a ton of more value. It's a something more stable. And as the years go by, hopefully you see this card appreciate. So I just wanted to give some options on quarterback rather than just show you these tanking QBs over the years or these modern. Here's the Joe name. It is a more expensive. There's only 115 copies, but some people spend a lot of money on these autograph or silver prism quarterback cards where the price goes down, where something like this, his price isn't going to go down. I mean, Joe Namus rookie card. Again, look at this. That's all time. I don't like the all time. Let's go to the last, the last two years. Somewhat steady. Very unlike the modern quarterback cards. Vintage is where people might move to. That's what I would assume. All these growing people coming in the hobby, if they stick around, what ends up happening is you start going further back. And these are better options to me. The Namath, the Montana, something in this ilk. It's his only rookie card. He doesn't have 20 different rookie cards, 10 different rookie cards, just one. If you like this video or got some value out of it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do help the channel grow and you can always ring the bell to notify you whenever I make a video. Thanks for watching. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm a little school girl. Patch, oh, I'm shaking right now. Patch Auto Otani with the button. Oh my God. Come on. One time, baby. One time. Oh! Oh my God! Holy crap! I'm sorry, I yelled. Oh my God! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I thought the Drew Aller was good. I am shaking. I do not do much baseball. That's probably one of the best hits of my entire life. Dude, I am shaking.
Oh my gosh. Like, it's life changing. My heart was racing. My like, hands were shaking. I was like, no way. What up, everybody? This is Robert Ory, a.k.a. Big Shot Bob, and you're watching Professional Sports Cars. Hey, by the way, go buy my rookie card.